Imagine picking up a Bible without knowing anything about it beforehand. As you flip through the pages, you would find histories, genealogies, rules and laws, and accounts of dramatic and sometimes miraculous occurrences. You'd read poetry and songs alongside prophetic proclamations, stories of creation and destruction, death and resurrection, and an assortment of letters to various communities and individuals. Some of the stories are beautiful, others might be quite unsettling. Sorting out how to interpret scripture passages can also be overwhelming and confusing. But the Catholic Church has collected and arranged the books of the Bible in a way to make this story accessible to us. The story of God's creation, His relationship with His people, and the fulfillment of His covenants with us, God's children. The Catholic Bible has 46 books included in the first part, known as the Old Testament, and 27 books in the second part, called the New Testament. The Old Testament contains the holy scriptures that establish the history of God's creation and His relationship with humanity. These writings also include prophecies about the coming Messiah, who would save God's people from their sins and repair their relationship with their Creator. Most of these ancient books are sacred to the Jewish people and lay the foundation for the fulfillment of God's covenant, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. As ancient documents, they sometimes contain language that is difficult for us to understand, and they sometimes describe ways of life that are quite different from our own. The New Testament tells how the prophecies of the Old Testament are fulfilled, completing the revelation of God's love for us. The four Gospels record the birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The life and teachings of Jesus further illuminate and reveal God's love for His people. The New Testament also includes a book that tells the story of the early church, which was established by Jesus and continues to carry out his mission to this day, and guides a community of believers striving to live in union with God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit until he comes again in glory. When we look at the Bible this way, we no longer see a loose assortment of very different writings. We see a grand, unified story that tells us not only about our past and our future, but when looked at holistically and with an understanding of how different writings have different parts to play, how God has revealed Himself to us, guiding, restoring, and healing us from the beginning of time to the present moment.